Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January. But keep in mind that not every reading is for you. So I have to say that because we have a lot of newbies here that don't realize. They watch a reading and they're like, they try, they just don't get it. But anyway, um, yeah, this reading may or may, not, may or may not be for you. And again, this is for the month of January. Um, it's being recorded in December, but this is like a preview of what could be if this reading is for you. So what do we got for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for January 2020? What do we have for Aquarius? Wow. Okay. I love it when that happens, don't you? Nine of Swords, Reverse. So this is extremes. This is extremely worried, extremely stressed. This is somebody that their gut is telling them that somebody doesn't have good intentions. Maybe somebody is feeling guilty for engaging with this person because their gut was poking them from the beginning and they weren't listening. Um, somebody is definitely probably giving deep thought to a relationship and they're worried, very, very worried, worried about the consequences, uh, maybe regretting their decisions, their choices, something like that. Um, Six of Pentacles reversed. This is uh, strong control. There's fraud. Uh, there's a abuse of power here. Somebody that is greedy. There's some sort of injustice. It's like somebody, there's, there's like a strings attached kind of thing. It's like, yeah, I'll give to you only if you give to me. You know, so it's like there's not equal... Uh, reciprocation. It's like, I will only, this is like, uh, it's really sad for one thing. It is sad. It's sad that, you know, there's, there's so many expectations here. It's like somebody, it's like the only way that they will give is to receive. And it's, and it's like, there's, uh, but it's not happening. You know what I mean? There's, it, it's like, it's all take, 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 take. Hanged man. So we have somebody here that is stuck. Stuck, 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 stuck. But wasting time, sacrificing themselves needlessly. But there's a period of thinking and waiting and becoming enlightened. So I think we have somebody here that is starting to see what this really is. Because their gut has been poking them so much. Right around the corner, somebody's going to get this new perspective that changes their direction. It's like they're probably going to start get stop giving to a situation where there's no real reciprocation. It's like it's one-sided. It's like one person is doing a lot more than the other. And it's just, it's not uh, making the other person happy. So I feel like we, we have somebody here that is starting to realize, or they are really realizing, you know, this is a one-sided situation. It's not even close to being fair. There's definitely an injustice here. There's unfairness, sadness, and depression over not getting the attention that you are looking for. Um, but this is needing to, uh, face the struggle of letting go. So somebody's going to need to find their strength to let go of this one-sided situation, but they're having a very hard time doing it. Maybe there's um, some self-guilt, right? Feeling guilty for taking care of yourself. You know, you need to take care of yourself because if you don't, nobody else is going to for real. Okay. Um, so it's like somebody may be, you know, feeling guilty for wanting to let go. Don't feel guilty. If you want to let go, let go. So, Ace of Cups, this is, this is a new opportunity for love. Big loves, even self-love, okay? So, this the Ace of Cups is all about love and love in all forms. You, in, in order to receive the biggest love, you have to love yourself. You have to love yourself enough to do what is right for you. So, you have an opportunity for love here. This could be new love, uh, or it could be a reconciliation, but this is um, a new start, okay? It's a new start in love, if You, but you need to struggle through for something first because this is seeing things from a new perspective, and it's not easy. You may have to let go of something that is one-sided as well. Okay, if you're hanging on to something, but you are hanging on to something where there's no reciprocation, then you got to learn to do what's right for you. You need to love yourself enough to say, you know what, I deserve love. So I don't know who that is for, but you do have an opportunity for love here. You really do. 
but you have to love yourself. That's what I just got to keep saying because that's what I feel. I think your dreams are really talking to you. So really pay attention to your dreams at this time. That's another message of the Ace of Cups. Um, this Eight of Swords reversed. This is uh, obstacles being removed. Somebody definitely has been stuck on something. Um, removing an obstacle, letting go of the emptiness finally. So you may be letting go of some sort of situation that you were trapped in. There's definitely a mental trap. Somebody's been trapped, needing to escape, but they haven't had enough. And I feel like it's self-love to do so. I really feel like it's self-love. You know, you guys are what? The humanitarian. It's all about everybody else. No. What about you? Eight of Cups reversed. This is pretending to be happy superficial, shallow, staying put, avoiding, refusing to move on, lack of spiritual growth, lack of self-esteem and worth, emotional weakness, pretending to be happy, staying in a, re a situation, pretending on the surface it looks good to the world, right? But it's not. And this is avoiding it. I want to leave, but I can't because, you know, it's superficial. It's, 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 everybody thinks it's so good. It's the perfect family. It's the perfect home. It's the perfect white house. In the middle of town. So, anyhow, uh, there's like, it's very fake. But there's a big opportunity for love here, and it starts within you. This is freedom, liberation, ten of swords reversed. But it's like, it's almost like you're holding yourself down. You're betraying yourself. You're hurting yourself. It's time to, to be free. The Empress. This is the birth of a new life. This is facing the pain, accepting the pain. Some of you are doing this because of your children. Some of you are staying in an unhappy situation because of your children. Because of the family, the grandchildren even. This is all about unconditional love, right? You guys are. You are unconditional love. But you have to love yourself. I know that's what this is about. The Empress is a person that deals with the pain to receive a blessing. So it feels to me as though you guys are... Something is probably about ready to pop. Okay? And you are probably about to start a new life. If, if you are young, you may be getting pregnant. Um, and somebody could be worried. They're either worried about getting pregnant or they're worried about their children. Because this is very worried, very stressed, very unhappy. Needing to walk away, seriously. But not having the strength to do so. This is pain. Okay, I'm sorry, but the Empress is about pain. That after the pain, you receive a blessing. It's a freaking miracle. We all know it. So, we have a very beautiful soul here. Who th puts everybody above themselves. We could have somebody here that uh, has a self-image problem, is weak, self-righteous, manipulative. I mean, the Queen of Wands, I'm just telling you what this me is. This is unhealthy. This is controlling. This is manipulative. This is a liar. So I don't know who you are dealing with, Aquarius, but we have somebody here that is a liar, and we have somebody here that is beautiful.
We have two different people. This person, you need to break free. This is freedom. This is the end of dealing with this person. You have an opportunity for love. You do, but you have to find your strength. This is somebody that is weak. You need to find your strength to deal with the pain of release because the Empress has to release. She has to push that out and it hurts. So you have to experience some sort of pain to receive the love that you deserve. But you're going to have to find the strength to struggle through this pain right here. But somebody is avoiding it and they're pretending they're happy when they're not. So I feel like this month, what's going to happen this month is you're probably going to pop. You may be forced. It may be time. It looks like it's time to me. This is a card of awareness. It's a card of intuition. There is also some secrets. Maybe you just become aware this month that it's time or that it's almost time. You may be keeping to yourself and going through some sort of awakening knowing that it's time for your new life. Maybe, maybe you get this new awareness. Maybe you get some sort of spiritual growth. Maybe you get some sort of download this month that says, you know, it's time for my new life. It's time for me to love myself. It's time for love. Anyway, I think that you know something. I think that you're highly intuitive. And I think that you know that it's time to break free. It's time to liberate. It's time. It is. It's a very liberating time. It's time for you to follow your heart. So anyway, uh, Aquarius, you are going to be getting an opportunity for love. And this could lead to a new life. This could lead to another child for some of you if you are of that childbearing age. You could get pregnant. But you do need to be careful. There could be another woman. Maybe you know there's another woman because the Queen of Wands represents another woman. Maybe you know the, your partner has another woman or had another woman. Maybe your partner had another child with another woman. Maybe you're avoiding it. Maybe there's not another child. Maybe there's just another woman and you know it, but you're, there's avoidance here. There is true avoidance here. Maybe there's, there's like, there's, 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 uh, hanging on to something when there's a bigger, better opportunity. Re, you know, you need to, uh, take action. So anyway, Aquarius, I feel as though uh, you are engaged in a situation that is not picture perfect, but it appears to be on the outside. And I think deep down, you know, you really, 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 really know, you know where your heart lies, you know what you want to do, but you got to find the strength and the courage and the confidence and the willpower to struggle through this major life change that is beckoning you to beckoning you to move forward. It, the stress is killing you. It's not making you look good. It's making you look old. It's making you look not good. When you don't honor your life's path, when you don't honor th your your mission, the, the, the path that you signed up for before you came down to earth, you will be poked. You will be stressed. You will be put in positions that act as catalysts until you take action. So Aquarius, I feel like you guys have to walk away from something. That you are stuck to, that you are tied to, that you are bound to, that is not making you happy. Because you have an opportunity for love here that wants you to grab it. 
So anyway, I feel like you guys are going, this month is a month of getting ready. Okay. Cause I feel like you're just about ready to pop maybe in February. Okay. Something is going to happen. And I think that you can sense it coming. I think that you know, you know that there's either another woman or there has been another woman, or you know that there, there's lies. You know that there is somebody that better for you. I think that you know all this, but you have to find the strength to deal with the pain to receive your blessing. So I think this is a month of honestly working on your heart, honoring your heart, becoming realistic, listening to the messages. You're going to be getting a lot of messages from the divine, your intuition. You're going to be getting a lot of signs. You're going to be really hearing things. Your dreams are going to be talking to you. You're going to be getting a lot of pokes, per se. Poke, 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 poke. Stop being fake. Go, 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 go. Break free from this situation. You know there's another person. You know there's another woman. Or you know this isn't suited for you. You know you deserve better. But you got to deal with the pain. So, I oh my God, I just looked at the bottom death and rebirth so endings lead to new beginnings so Aquarius I think that you will be experiencing a major life change things are gonna change something is ending and something new is beginning this is a transformation this is a release one thing dies when things die, something new begins. This is a new life. You are about to start a new life. I think this is a month of enlightenment as well. You are going to become very enlightened about what your future is meant to look like. Stop resisting it. I can see your resistance. Stop resisting this change. You deserve to be loved. And that's why things end. For some of you, you may be in a situation where there's a lack of reciprocation. It, well, I know this is the case. There's an opportunity for a bigger, better love with somebody that will love you more than you've ever been loved. But we got somebody here that is resisting it to all at all costs. Staying trapped in a situation that looks good, but it's not. This is a very psychic month for you. Really listen to everything that you are hearing. Those are divine messages trying to lead you in a new direction. Good luck.